Linked arm in arm, friends and co workers of Jamie Erton marched the same street where he was murdered exactly two weeks ago. I always had a smile on his face, uh, willing to help. Anybody doesn't matter. Uh, just a genuine, honest guy. His smile lit up a room, and you could just tell by his position at his job what kind of person he was. Dozens showed up for a vigil on Kenton Street where Erton hit a child with his car. When he stopped, suspects beat and murdered Erton, who was on his lunch break. A co-worker saw Jamie right before he left work at the Cincinnati Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. I said, I'll see you when you get back. I said, I'll see you when you get back. The brutal violence has left many afraid, scared, and stunned. A heavy police presence surrounded the vigil tonight. They're coming for you. You can run, but you can't hide forever. Now many call for justice. Police continue to look for Deontay Babber, who was wanted for Erton's homicide. The child's father, Jamal Killings, is already locked up, also charged with murder. We are going to seek justice, and we're going to get these people. We're going to find this guy that's running and hiding. We're going to find him. Somebody somewhere knows where this guy is. As candles were lit and prayers were offered, many hope Erton is remembered for the great man he was. I came today to raise up that man and say it was a loss. I don't want the people to hear about it. Now, of course, anyone with information on this homicide is asked to contact Crime Stoppers. You can give information and tips anonymously. Amanda Kelly, WLWT News 5.